Hi guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Episode 3 of Season 14 of Supernatural, The Scar. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so if you don't want to be spoiled, stop watching the video now. With that said, here's my review of Episode 3 of Season 14 of Supernatural, The Scar. It was funny when Dean was talking about how it was a nightmare, making it seem like he was talking about Michael, but he was actually talking about Sam's beard. Since the Wayward Sisters show didn't get picked up, I'm glad that they're starting to continue the storyline in this episode. I really wanted to see how everyone would react when they found out that Kaya was killed by an alternate reality version of herself. And the way they reacted was how I think I would react if I was in this situation. I was glad that Jack didn't leave when he saw the girl Laura that was cursed. But since he left a note when he was going to leave, I'm wondering what the note says and if Dean, Sam, or Castiel will find it. I'm also wondering where Jack was planning on going. Maybe his grandparents? Even though they have no idea that he's their grandson? When Dean punched the Kaya from the alternate reality, I was thinking, well, that's one way to stop her. And the looks on Sam and Jody's faces were very understandable. I felt really sorry for Jody when the alternate reality Kaya was saying that she didn't mean to kill Kaya, she meant to kill Claire. Kim Rhodes does an amazing job at showing really powerful emotion without saying anything. Jack was pretty smart when he realized that the necklace that the witch was wearing had Laura's life force in it, and by breaking it, he was able to save her. Even though Jack doesn't have his powers, he can still help people. I actually like the alternate reality version of Kaya. I don't like that she tried to kill Claire and that she killed Kaya, but I don't think she's evil since she wouldn't join Michael. It might be nice if she joined Sam and Dean's team, since she has the only thing that can hurt Michael. I hope that happens in the future. I felt really bad for Jody since she knows that she has to tell Claire that Kaya's killer is still around, and she should also tell Claire that it's another version of Kaya. I really want to see Claire's reaction when she sees the Kaya from the alternate reality. I loved seeing Castiel tell Jack that he's proud of him, and that he'll talk to Sam and Dean about going on a hunting trip. But I'm also worried about Jack, because he told Castiel that he must be getting his first cold since he was coughing, but it's pretty clear that's not the case since he's coughing up blood. I felt really sorry for Dean when he was telling Sam that it felt like drowning when Michael was possessing him and that he blames himself for Michael being there. But I was happy that he was telling Sam instead of keeping it to himself. Thanks for watching, guys. If you saw the episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you want to see any of my future videos, Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!